Ravens were the biggest home underdog in a non-replacement game, but Baltimore was playing for more than pride. Son, it's the only thing we play for tonight. Do you understand that? Not a game. This is family right now. And one of our brothers is going home to rest. Let's send him home right. Not about the outcome of the game, but about how you play the game. Let's give everything we got for 21 tonight. After the moment of silence for Sean Taylor, former Hurricanes Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, and Willis McGahee getting together. Tom Brady for Ben Watts. Ray Lewis there to knock it away. That's a great play by Ray Lewis. Two plays later, this is third and goal. This is not such a great play. Here's Brady. I mean, look at the time. Are you kidding? Stop for a cup of coffee, then roll, then find oh. Watson for an unpatriot-like flat-out drop. Had to settle for a field goal. That's like a Baltimore victory right there. Ravens look to respond on third and 11. Kyle Bowler, nice job avoiding a rush of his own. And then finds DeVar Darling. That's good for a 53-yard chunk of real estate down the sideline. Watch it again. Adelius Thomas nearly takes off Bowler's head, but he's able to avoid the rush, and then Bowler making the play on the run. Same drive. This is third and goal. Here's Bowler looking strong in the pocket. Ships one into Derek Mason, and what? The Ravens a 7-3 lead. I can, I can help you out here. I got it back to 10-10 in the second. 56 seconds remaining in the first half. Brady deep over the middle. Ball tip right to Ed Reed. Remember, Bill Belichick got all mushy about Ed Reed this week. Loves the guy. Doesn't love him so much here. Now he loves him again. Fumble on the return. New England's going to get it back. Brady just the fifth interception of the year, and even that doesn't really turn into a turnover. Look at Kevin Falk. Great job of tackling, strips the ball out. Ravens will a great opportunity to get points before the half, and so we are 10-10 at intermission. Third quarter, Ravens opening possession, first and 10 at the patch 17, and Willis McGahee, just a beast, finds a hole, finds a few guys to run over, and he's in, and the Ravens take the lead 17-10. Big night for Willis. Ensuing patch drive right back. Brady under pressure. Lawrence Maroney over the middle finds him and off he goes this will cover 36 yards before he's finally hauled down by the black shirts later in the drive third one at the ravens three brady randy moss there's that man again we're tied at 17 moss 17th touchdown of the year ties a career high 40th td pass for brady but mcgahey still working on the ground 18 yards inside the patch 40 he carried it 30 times for a total of 138 yards same drive Foul bowler, play action pass, Daniel Wilcox end zone touchdown, and the Ravens have retaken the lead 24-17. Patriots now trying to respond. Would they come right back? Get them fired up. Here we go. Sure. But this time, the Baltimore defense is up for it. Pelote Nata sacks Brady at the 27-yard line. Down he goes. Very next play, defense fired up again, third and 12. Brady and his teammates just 2 of 12 on third downs. Brady sacked three times this time. Antoine Barnes has got him, brings him down. There you go, pretty boy. Huh? Ravens next possession, threatening at the Pats 30-yard line. Get some points, maybe get this thing a little far out of reach. James Sanders, he's got to pick a bolt. Nobody around except Sanders. He will return it 42 yards. Disaster averted by the perfect Patriots. But they're very, very much in a fight. Rodney Harrison over to Brian Billick, exchanging some words and look at Billick. Love you. You're my man. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think it was really that heartfelt. Pats get a field goal, make it 24-20. Less than four to go, third and two bowler. Complete to McGay. He doesn't get the first down, so the Ravens are forced to punt, as am I. Leaves. Thank you. I will receive. Ensuing Pats drive, second and ten. Here's Brady. After all, it is Brady time to Ben Watson. Hangs on to that one. The Pats are on the move. This is third and ten. Seemed like it was all third and fourth downs for New England. Kevin Falk, left side, nine yards. Just shy of the first down. So it's fourth down. This is fourth and one. I like the quarterback sneak here. They're going to stop him, but wait a second. Penalty on the play? No. The Ravens had called timeout before the Pats snapped the ball. Feel like in disbelief, so they give the Patriots another chance. That's defensive coordinator Rex Ryan, Buddy's kid, calling the timeout after a New England false start. This is their third chance, really. It's fourth and six. 
Brady has plenty of room, and this time it's running room. A Ravens penalty after the play gave the Pats even more yardage. Second and five. Brady over the middle, pass tip. That ball is picked off every time, it, except that time. Just over 50 seconds to play. Fourth and five. Brady. Watson. Incomplete ball game. Right, wrong. No, this wasn't a timeout. There's a flag on the play. Jermaine Winborn, defensive holding. She's got a left arm and the right arm around Watson. That's given new life. Gonna give these guys yet another chance. Brady to Jabbar Gaffney. Semi-juggling catch. The play would be reviewed, and there's no question about the feet. Gaffney has the footwork. It's perfect. How about the transfer to the other hand? Any problem there? No. Stands. His only catch of the game. Tom Brady would call it the best catch of Gaffney's career. And you see Bart Scott called for an unsportsmanlike conduct, ticked at the call, threw the penalty flag away. Some 35 yards in penalty. You see where Steven Guskowski was able to kick off from? It could have been a field goal. Except that doesn't count. I've never seen that before, actually, kicking off a 35. Here's your last chance. Hail Mary, caught by Mark Clayton. Stopped at the two. Could have used that last timeout there. But you might recall they've used all their timeouts. Clayton even thinking about handing off the ball. Patriots defense makes the stop. The Pats survive a wild, wild game in Baltimore, 27-24. Second time in the last two weeks, the Pats have trailed in the fourth quarter and won. Tom Brady, 21st fourth quarter comeback. That's the most since 2001. And they win despite Randy Moss having a season-low four catches for 34 yards. Wes Welker also shut down, just three catches, 18 yards. The Ravens controlled the clock and the game through three quarters, then lost it in the fourth on the final drive. The Ravens are, uh, as we thought all week, tough. Um, they do a great job and uh, played well tonight. Fortunately, we were able to, you know, once again make a few more plays uh, than our opponents. Uh, it's third time in four weeks we've come from behind in the fourth quarter. Baltimore, you know, came out with a game plan that they were going to try to be physical and uh, do a lot of, lot of talking with their mouths and stuff like that. And, you know, Coach Belichick doesn't, doesn't coach us or, or raise us that way. So, you know, for us to, to come up and, and shut them up with, a, with the last second, you know, touchdown, that's really what felt good. It's a lot of questionable calls out there. And, 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 you know, you just try to keep lining up and playing. And I'm glad we made the plays when we need to. Made a lot of plays under pressure. And uh, that's what we're going to need down the stretch. Really got to look forward and start, you know, really start making some improvements here in the last quarter of the season. The loss takes away everything, man, you know. Felt like we played our hearts out tonight and we had some bogus calls, but, you know, it is what it is. It's hard to go out there and play the Patriots and the rest at the same time. So obviously you don't agree with those calls? You see? Not at all. It is what it is. They put the crown on top of them. They want them to win. They won.